football locker room, and I still don't think it's funny. <laughs> you can't get much more than that. But... It's definitely dirty behind the bar. Actually, that light socket looks like it could kill somebody at any moment. You should have worn a condom into the bar. <laughs> Guys, look up for just a second. Who still doesn't have a drink? Look around. Who doesn't have a drink still? Put up your hand so they can see. OK, Dante, come on, guys. Let's catch up. Order up. So what happens? You guys send it up as it comes up, or you send it together? Oh, we got it two things. Yeah, you send it together, bad. right? Hold on. No, no, no. We got the hush puppies. So what's the system here? Is it is it as the food is ready, you send it, or do you wait to do whole tables? We actually send it when it's up, but then um, everything's not ready at one time. Yeah, so. so but I mean, you have to time it. That's where it yeah. comes in. Otherwise, we're just slamming food. What good is that? All right, we're starting to get hit a little bit. Starting to come in, tickets are coming in, but it's a lack of systems. They're not sure when to send one dish or cook the other dish. It's just, it's a system. Are there table numbers on the tickets? Guys, do we know where every order's going? Just as I suspected, there's no systems in place. They don't have any steps in place. There's no process in place. So just a free for all. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see if the right food gets to the right table. I'm sorry, darling. I wasn't ignoring you. Are you waiting on your drinks? We got to get these tables done. You got it. Oh, oh, you switched three. tables on me. No, 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 no. What's the table number? It's supposed to be table five. OK, gotcha, But they gotcha. switched tables. OK. We were doing so well. Now the kitchen crashed completely. Food isn't going out. We're running about 25 minutes behind. Surprisingly, the bar is catching up, but the kitchen isn't. Don't get ahead of yourself. You're, you're, you're cooking too much too fast. We're waiting on this, right? So give me this, then go to the next ticket. So do a ticket by ticket, you know? Quality control, that's what we're looking for. If you try to do too much, the quality starts to lack. We're doing super easy food. We just gotta get that rhythm. You guys are slamming food like nobody gives a We give a now, you know? Why do this four times? Here, come on. You have a pot, look. You have a pot right here, you know? So bring the pot to you. One, two. We gotta get the systems in here, guys. Now bring the shrimp to you. Don't do one at a time, it's crazy. Get them out as quick as you can. Look, look. I don't want to serve shit like that. Just one, two, three, four, and a garnish. Okay, I don't want to okay. show you again. I just want you to get it right. Don't be sorry. Just do it right. No, I'm, I'm... guys. Right, Trying to can you check on food? They got to try to speed up back there if we can. Okay, chef. What's going on with the What's going on with the plate? And the food is coming out kind of slow. Yeah, there needs to be some help expediting this. Okay, Rob, we I'll need more help expediting food to the tables. All right. Give okay. Me. So is this the one? Is this the double got... order that happened? Oh. They, they switched. This is why this okay. was done. Okay, I'm just five, serving what I see. No, okay. no, okay. sweetie, I'm just letting you know. All right. What happened was my customers moved. When I moved their ticket over, I changed the table, and I guess it messed the kitchen up. But it's just sometimes, it, you know, it gets a little bit frustrating. It's OK. So we don't need this. We don't need that. Yeah, that one, that one they switched tables. You need it now. Hey, man bun, man bun. Man bun, OK. Man bun. That works. He want a sidecar without the bullshit. I heard. It's like, you taste this? Did you use this? Yeah. It tastes so much better. Yeah, that's right. It does. Yeah. It, it makes it, it give it that, that orange taste to make it pop more. Now, you're mixing this up. You're doing some of the service tickets, too, right? Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of everything. Trying to mix it up. I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. I'm about to get everybody. I'm trying to get everybody. OK. It's like a normal thing. Normally, I'm back there by myself anyway, so it's always stress for me, so. I'm a real worker, man. I really try and bust it out and get people, make people happy, so it's just the way I am. These guys, are, you got some good guys in the kitchen. Real good guys. So what's the cost of this, Chef? Maybe 75 cents tops. So we're making money on everything now, right? That's it. And it's just the hush puppy. It's just fried flour. But we elevate it in a way that just perceived value, you know? The flavor. <laughs> Here I go. Dante, did you get those tickets out that we gave you? If you can, make two at a time, three at a time, OK? Dig us out. I've become a pretty big fan of Dante and David. Their attitude is great. They're really trying. And with more training, I believe they'll get there. Dante. <laughs> You look good? You see him in that? He's done. He's okay, okay. Here, son. Here, son. There you go. There you go. I got you. Man, guys, Dante. Come on, one sec. One sec. 
I just want to tell you, I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of everything that we did tonight. This was badass. I mean, you know, after, after the little meeting we had earlier, when you start running numbers and start clicking in my head, we got to get this shit together. We do, and you freaking did, man. Stepping up is the best thing that we can ever do as men. To step up in those moments, and you guys freaking did, man. You guys did. So let's shut this down. Let's tell everybody good night. I got to start remodeling this place. I want to go to work. You still want me to make these two right? Yeah, make those two. Give a last call, and let's move on, okay, guys? Attention, please. Hear ye, hear ye. Last call for alcohol. Stress test. It was kind of, uh, it was rocky, but you know, we once we readjust and got a hang of it, it was cool. I liked it. It was a good experience. It's real serious. Oh, hey. ah. oh, oh, this is amazing. Oh. Amazing. What do you guys think? Love it. I love the neighborhood. So. Thank you, John. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Neighborhood so, because really so, that's exactly where we is. The neighborhood so. Exactly. Marshawn, yeah. what do you think? I'm feeling it. <laughs> you feeling it? <laughs> You all have gained my respect this week. That neighborhood soul was about your soul, not about a building, not about food. You did it. You did that. You got to see the look inside, Doc. Look what the big homie did, big homie tapping. <laughs> <laughs> look what the big homie did. <laughs> nah, you the big homie now. <laughs> OK, so there's only one thing left. You guys ready to go see it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go. Oh, oh shit. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God! This is so nice. Oh, oh, what the? F oh, is yeah. that? Nah, we gotta go over there. Look. No, y'all just see the mural over there. Look, look. Oh, I love it. This is yeah. That's hella That's dope. dope. I got emotional when I saw the gears of Marshawn in the picture. <sighs> He's such. A great person. Look at our commercial. It's man, None man. of us like Ray Ray's boom boom room. What do you think? I got a smile. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look, he already at it. Whose back is that in that mural? I just said that. That's you. No, nah, that's <laughs> Rob Ben watching you is. become a hero. Rob is most definitely is in the house, man. It is an amazing day here at Das Brewhaus and Cafe. So come on in, bring your smiles, because we brought ours. Hey, what's going on? This uh, strawberry sage smash. It's a whiskey drink, okay. but it's phenomenal. Tell me I'm loving the new drink menu. They're nice, refreshing, and people are starting to love it. I've never seen this many smiles behind the bar or in front of the bar ever in this restaurant, and it's great. This bar finally has good vibes again, and I'm glad. I'm very happy about it. <laughs> oh, you got this. We're doing good. I got a new chef coat tonight from John, which was amazing. I'll wear that jacket very proudly, and I will do my best to make Doug and Tara proud of me. You got a lot of stuff? Yeah. Cool. Well, welcome back. How are we doing? Once he's finally taken a breath and thought about his recipes and his pour counts, he's actually digging himself out from service well. Yeah, he's a good guy. If he stays organized, he can do this. He can, yeah. I think we're in the clear. The crowd is so happy. They're raving over the drinks. The food is consistent. I think everyone's going to come back. This is a sign of a very successful relaunch. A little different than the other night? A lot different. How long did it take you to get your food? Five, Good? Yeah, delicious. Excellent. This is a great lady with two young kids. She's a million dollars in debt. Spreading the word from you guys can make a big difference. Sure. Thanks, guys. Enjoy your summer. Yeah. And we'll see you guys on the field. Yeah. All right, sunshine, double time that brought. That sells me, baby. I got it. Doug, the whole room is almost served. You freaking did it. We Thanks. did it. Guys, we did it. We pulled this off. We're Schnitzel. We're team. Well done. You. Yeah. So what does everybody think of the bar? You like it? Woo! So, who's coming back? Yeah! yeah! Here's Dave, back behind the bar. Go do something. I'm trying to. I'll be over here. It'd be nice if he'd help out his bartenders, wash some glassware, making sure everybody's OK. And he's just kind of standing there doing nothing. Well, you're a rat face, man. Now buy him a set of teeth. This guy's a dick. <laughs> yes. Now, she's our favorite lesbian, though. Keep the faith, Al. For recon tonight, I have Joe Escalate. 
Joe is the bassist from the legendary punk rock band, The Vandals. He's been active in the punk rock scene for 35 years. I've played at places like CBGB's, The Whiskey, and The Roxy. You got to stay current on music trends, because if it's the best bands playing the best songs, people will come back. I got Jennifer Allen, who's a good friend of mine, and is a local, knows Long Beach really well. Then I got Sarah Colonna. Sarah's an entertainer and comedian, and then with her, is John Ryan, who's Sarah's fiance and happens to be the punter for the Seattle Seahawks. How are these kooks, dude? Hi there. Hi, how are you? Good, what can I get you guys? Cape Cod. Okay. Look at the crazy variety of pour spouts they have here. And some of the bottles don't even have any pour spouts at all, which makes it much easier to overpour. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, short. It's just so strong. How do you screw up a vodka and cranberry? Yeah. That's not right here. No. I feel like and a I live in a football locker room, and I still don't think it's fun. <laughs> I mean, you can't get much more than that. But... It's definitely dirty behind the bar. Actually, that light socket looks like it could kill somebody at any moment. You should have worn a condom into the bar. <laughs> do you guys serve food? We're working on trying to get a kitchen in here, but for now, we don't have one. No, it's fine. From what I understand, Dave wants to add a kitchen to his bar. But if he can't get anything right, what makes him think he can run a successful kitchen? Exactly. Oh, good. The band's arriving. What? How are you doing tonight? Wow! We said it Oh, man. OK, Jen's covering me. Punk rock should be loud. But it can't be piercing. So when you're bringing the volume up because the system stinks, it becomes intolerable for you. It creates an unsafe environment for the customers and staff and could lead to irreversible ear damage. I mean, it's unprofessional. Right. It's going to be like this every night. I'm not going to come back. As a musician, I would not want to play here because the bar is not designed to have live music that is amplified like that. And it just doesn't look like anyone's going to survive this way because in a punk rock world, the scene here is too limited to be successful. Look at that. There are only three customers that are actually tolerating this noise. I can't subject my spies to this headache of a bar anymore. I say we go in together. Mm -hmm. You hit the bar. Let's see what we got. Yeah, let's do it. Phil, you want to look at the bar for a minute? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Joe. Hey, he's here. Hey, Gabe, he's here. What do you think, Joe? It's a tough room. And if you get booked in this place once, you will tell your agent next time, let's not go back there. I'm Phil. April. April, pleasure. Mind if I walk you and take a look at the bar? OK. Dave. Come on over. John Taffer. David. How's it doing? I'd like to meet some friends of mine. John is the punter for the Seattle Seahawks. David. Hi, I'm Sarah. Sarah Colon is a dear friend of mine. Sarah is a comedian. Hi. Jennifer Allen is a local. And uh, Joe Escalante David. is the basis for the nice Vandals. Oh, really? Wow. Did this bar work for you? It didn't smell great, and the drinks were very strong. Did it work for you? No, it, it, it doesn't work. It needs help. I'm told you're about 160000 in debt. Yeah, this is why we kind of challenged you. We didn't think you were able to meet the challenge of a punk rock scene. Oh, really, Joe, is there any punk bar that can fill up 365 days a year? Not playing punk rock. No, it's just not a business. And I've been in the punk rock business most of my life. You can't flounder in here in a sweater and just say I'm punk rock. It doesn't work like that. David, listen, block. respect somebody who's legendary in the punk rock space who grew up playing in venues like this. You guys flew in on the wrong plane. We don't want you here anyways. This is not an emo bar or a house music bar. If you think you can run a punk bar and make money 350 days a year, I suggest that you don't know punk music at all. I, I think it's a crock Well, you guys don't need to hear me argue with an idiot, so I'll let you go, Joe. Thank you. Would you rather be in the punk business or make money? Honestly? I'll shut it down knowing that we did the punk rock thing other than selling out the punk rock scene. You want to not be a sellout? Don't be a sellout then! I'm going to keep it punk rock, dude. And see if it's not punk rock, then fly home, dude.
So, for recon tonight, I got two friends of mine. This is Dan from Barstool Sports, which is one of the most popular sports websites in America. I've had Dan do recon for me before. I like that. I mean, I've never had lighter fluid, but like, it's, <laughs> it's a hot drink. If Dan likes a bar, he can make it successful. If he doesn't, he can make it fail with the push of a button. Next to him is Chris Long, who's a current player with the Rams. As a Ram, Chris Long knows this town. He knows the sports market. And I've asked the two of them to come into your bar and give me feedback. Hi, guys. What's up, man? What's going on? How are you? Are you? Yeah, can I get a Bud? And how about you, hon? I have a Bud Light. Whoa! What kind of pouring is he doing? She's hot. Me. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, what do you think? Just a little uh, flat, maybe? How can you succeed pouring a bad beer in St. Louis? This is the home of Budweiser. That's an embarrassment. So I get a burger, no cheese, Mimo fries. Absolutely, thank I'll you. I'll do uh, Reuben nachos. And that's our cook, Anthony. Freeze the burn, freeze the burn. Now he's microwaving the burger meat to thaw it out. He should already have the meat prepped and thawed before service begins. This is just lazy cooking. Whoever wants to put these goggles on can have a shot for free. Cameron, no, come on. Kim tries, but she doesn't have a clue. He does not behave like this when I'm there. But this is the real him. Is our food coming? Is that burger done yet? So they don't have their food yet. Oh. Which no. has been, what, a good 15 minutes or so? Yes. That's totally wrong. Yeah. The cheese is wrong. You know what? F it. Just put the french fries. I'm done. What is that? That's the Reuben nachos. Oh, no. You're a restaurant person. You know how important food quality and consistency is. That is a huge issue with me. I'm the nachos. I'm the nachos. Please speak up. These chips are awful. There's so much sauerkraut in Thousand Island, and none of the cheese is cooked. How did, how's the burger? I'm not a stickler about hamburgers, but yeah. for us, it was disappointing because they were the basics. You know, how do you mess nachos up? How do you mess a burger up? It wasn't good. For recon, I got two Kansas City Chiefs offensive linemen, Mitch and Andrew. They know bars. They know this town. I thought they'd be perfect to give us a scoop on recon. So this is a big moment for Billy and the staff. Let's see if they deliver. What are we having tonight? I'd usually do something like mixed, maybe a little sweet or fruity. Um, you can do like a Long Beach, which is basically a Long Island, but with cranberry juice. I'll give that a shot. Did you give them a menu? I don't know what to order. I need to look at the menu. So she's made no effort to sell them anything. Ooh, we're getting live over there. So the shot comes first. Let's see, now she's gonna clean up the shots. That was a she now has everybody's saliva on her hands, right, from touching the rim of all those glasses. Wipes her mouth, mouth with her hands, puts her hands through her hair. She's doing it all wrong. She hasn't done one thing right. Long Beach. Oh, look at the color of that. I'm actually confused at what she just put in there. Even if it's sweet and sour and cranberry, that color is not normal. That tastes good. It's not doing much. It's just like kind of watered down. Oh, man. Yeah. So what's the deal with, uh, with ordering this food again? OK, so you're going to go to the food window. You're going to order from the food window. Now, the fact that she couldn't write it down and bring it over there with the nine customers they have in a room is absurd. So I don't get why you can't just like order there, but whatever. You guys got any question about the menu? Now, would you ever order food from a guy with that towel on his shoulder nah, like that? Not at all. I would ask him, did you clean your neck with that towel? I just want to know. Here, yeah, I get for you. I'm going to order just the big burger. Can I just get a grilled chicken? And that's going to be at least a 30-minute wait. You guys OK with that? 30-minute wait, at least. Razzo was supposed to have a shot with the girls over there. I know. I wonder how many shots she's had tonight. Wow. Um, what kind of owner would just say whatever? Shrug it off. She can wow. get drunk, steal money, fall. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand it. And whose booze know? is she drinking? Billy's. Yeah. Exactly. Here we go. So he's thrown raw chicken on the grill, Kev. Has he washed his hands? Not at all. Look at him going in the bag. Yeah. Now he's going in the bag for? Not oh, chips. Chip. Oh. So that whole bag would have to be thrown oh, away. Look at that. 
So those aren't nachos. Those are more like deathos. Yeah, yeah. Right? You can eat some yeah. raw chicken on your nacho chips. Can yeah. you imagine? No, I'm, I don't want to. Look at that grill. Now, I thought that was a charbroiler. It's so black. That's a flat top. That thing ain't been clean since the early 70s. <laughs> now, whatever he's cooking has got to come out with some black on it, doesn't uh, yeah, it? Yeah, no doubt. Wipes that rag again, touches it all with his bare hands. Oh, man. And now with, with his spatula, he goes to scoop up that chicken. And what goes with the chicken on the bun? Some of that disgusting grill. Her eyes are definitely glazed over. John is heading to Oakland, California for a very special bar rescue to help football legend and hometown hero, Marshawn Lynch. In 2018, Marshawn Lynch opened the doors to Rob Ben's, a local restaurant and bar in the heart of Oakland. I think every time I've been in this restaurant since it's open, there's somebody from the community that I actually know. And for them to tell me, like, you know, I'm proud of you and, you know, what you're doing. It's an honor to meet you. I'm a big Same fan, boy. Man, you don't know the half, big dog. So your career, everything started right here. Yeah. yeah, so how far was it from here where you grew up? Around the corner, but uh, wow. my first game was two or three blocks away from here. So this is your home. Your career started here. Right. It started and ended here. How perfect, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think they call that, what's that, Cinderella story? Yeah, it is a Cinderella story. You had one hell of a career, buddy. Man. It was all right. It's all right. Yeah. My respect for you is immense. Clack, clack, thank you. Appreciate it, big dog. Are you ready? I'll get one Skittles. Yeah. And She'll have the side part. Well, I got to tell you, it's a nice looking bar. So I like the colors. You know, I think the black and red is pretty cool. It's black and burgundy. But I opened Saints. One of the first time Rob came and seen me play, I was playing for Saints. So that was where the color oh, scheme okay. came from. So connected back to Rob. Yeah. Wow. So I want to hear about Rob. Yeah. I ain't going to lie to you. It's, a, it's, it's more of a, uh, a touchy subject with that. I mean, you know, just it's just my brother. Just from shit as a, as early as I could remember, opening my eyes, he been in my life, and uh, you know, it was taken away from me. Uh, just the impact that he left on my life. Uh, the name of the restaurant is just in honor of him. So he's been a large inspiration in your life. Facts. We got his older brother that's working in there too. Wow. Yeah. So his family is in there with your family? Oh, uh, most definitely. As it should be. Yeah. Hey, can I order something? <laughs> Try and catch him when he's not busy. Yeah. Dude, he's drinking behind the bar. Is that cool? Who <laughs> <laughs> this guy? Somebody back there don't give a Can I get a drink? Can I go into your cellars? Can I get a cellar too? What can I get you? Um, do you have a salad with grilled chicken? Let me I check, let me check, I got you, let me check, let me check, I got you, I got you, hold on. You think you would know that? You got a chicken salad, and okay. I can tell them grill it. Can you do grilled chicken yeah. on the salad? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you got a chicken yes, salad? Where do you see a chicken salad at? Did they have a chicken breast in there? We don't have a chicken salad. From what I just heard, we don't. We don't have a chicken salad. I wonder if that was echoed back to her. Let's see what happens. Do you mind checking on our food? We should be coming up next. Okay. Unfortunately, they don't have any more salad. No salad? No salad at all. Uh, my mom ordered the fish, but I was thinking chicken. This is pretty simple. So they couldn't pull off a salad with chicken. Right. And they're still dealing with this. Meanwhile, this person ordered this like 10 minutes ago. Right. And they still haven't solved it. Mm-hmm. So now they're just that putting was 10 minutes order. ago when they knew that they didn't have the right. grilled chicken. So they're reacting too late. Right. And nobody's communicating with each other. Mm-hmm. We got to run this more like a team, less like a family. Does that make sense? Yeah. Everybody's got to hold up their own. Everybody's got to freaking deliver. As a team, we lose. 
You give them the opportunity, now they got a freaking season. That's what time it is. That's what time it is. It's time to season. Hey, you might have been a, you might have been all right coach in the league. <laughs> you got me ready to go and bust some more heads right now. I want to go and let's go and talk to you. How long does it take to pick this up? But this has been up. sitting here for a half hour. How long does it take to pick those up? Hold on, I'm not I'm done. I'm saying it. How about picking this up, for Christ's sakes? So how many times do you walk by this and not pick up anything. You wait till they finish. I don't seat. understand it. What do you do here? So I'm the only person in here. You walk by it ten I, times. I, no. This has been here long before I even got in the room. So before I even came back here, That's I was right. even before. Yeah, yeah, call me back before. here, bro. And I didn't even walk back here, bro. I'm not a server. I'm a bartender. You know, the more you talk, the more of an idiot you sound like. You walk by it and didn't you walk by sitting in the store. I don't hear it. How many times do I walk by this? How many times do I walk by this? How many times do I walk by that and expect you to keep writing checks? Well, look, I got the glasses. What are you doing? I had to tell you to. You had to tell me six. You had me in the back talking to me. What the f you talking about? Because you f***ed up. You f***ed up and he writes the check. Is that fair? Why don't you do something? I am doing something. I'm going to him out. Calling you out. That's what I'm doing. Am I the only mother in here? I'm mother down Do better. Here, you want to ride me? Do Here, hold on. Do better. I'm from the school streets. Calling you out. Give me. You put this mother down here. I'll show you something. Somebody can actually work in this shirt, even though you didn't. Give me. Is this reasonable? At the end of the day, bro. I'm here. No, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm here to hide. Check me out, though, cuz. Check me out, though, cuz. It's the biggest screw up here, that's all. Check me out, though, cuz. The whole point of all the shit, why he telling you what he telling you is, that's coming out of my pocket. Let's go back to the kitchen for a second. you did. I just watched you and her. Well, here I am for my 200th Bar Rescue episode. So tonight, to help me with this rescue, I have two of the Las Vegas Raiders with me to help me do recon. I'm gonna do 200 right. There hey. they are. What's up, big man? Right, how are you guys, man? Doing good, doing good. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having us. So this was a big one for me, guys. This is my 200th bar rescue. Yeah, oh, okay. okay. So I'm thrilled that? to have you guys. Thank Excited you for you, thank you. Yeah. So thank this you. bar is owned by a family. All right. So I was hoping you guys could go in, have some food, yeah. which I haven't had in a while. Yeah. Have a drink or two. You know, and just let me know what you think. Okay. okay. So, right. yeah. Cool, guys. I'll see you inside. Okay. Hey, guys. How are you doing today? How are you doing? How's your night going? Good. So think about this. During the pandemic, how would you feel about being handed a menu that was obviously used before? Terrible. I wouldn't touch it. You wouldn't touch it with no. your <laughs> But that menu's all folded up. Obviously, that's been used before, right? Uh-huh. I think I'll do the, the mezcal margarita. OK. I think I'll have the paloma. Sticky lime with the... Uh, Lime juice and um, triple sec. No, there is no triple sec in a Paloma. Okay, that is not real lime juice. The only thing authentic about that is the lime wheel. It was no fresh ingredients whatsoever. Here you go, guys. Thank you. Mezcal margarita and Paloma for you. Thank you. Excuse me, you want me to leave a one menu on it? How's that drink? I should have told him make it a double. <laughs> Barely. I mean, if I was, you know how when you're a young kid and your your dad let you let you sip a taste of beer, it tastes like that. Like they put a, a drop of uh, tequila in there. <laughs> so it's not right then. No, it's not. It's not strong enough. Unless the tequila just got a whole bunch of sugar in it. Oh, he doesn't like that at all. He's yeah. puckering up from that. Is this supposed to have, like, uh, grapefruit? No grapefruit. It's, like, kind of too strong. If you don't like it, I can change it for you, sir. Yeah, can you make it a little bit uh, less yeah, alcohol for you? Yeah, sure, you got it. Thank you. May I have another margarita? Sure, you want the same, the mezcal one? No, that one didn't have enough um, alcohol in it. I don't know what's good. I want to taste the good stuff. OK. Yeah. I just feel like I want to run and cry. It's just, um, it's overwhelming. Carne asada, cuatro camarones, four shrimps. 30 minutes and nothing has come out just yet. Okay. Nothing. Go. No. She looks a little stressed, doesn't she? <laughs> it's not even <laughs> stressed. <laughs> Holy shit. Dress it up. 
Dress it up, yo le pongo todo. Now, this cook doesn't know what he's doing, so I'm curious to see how this goes. If there's one thing that freaks me out, it's what? Raw Cleanliness. Raw chicken. Oh, jeez. Look at this. So Look at the cross-contamination. Sam Glove. How do you like the chicken? Look at him touching protein with his hands. This is terrifying. Oh. This is completely cross-contaminated. I have to go in this kitchen. You know who I am? Yes, sir. Do you want me to help you? Yes. Come with me. <laughs> this man is going to kill somebody. Okay. There's raw chicken on here, right? Now he has salad on it. Okay. He takes raw chicken, goes in the refrigerator, grabs all the food. All of this food is covered in raw chicken. None of this can be served. You think it's funny? Do you know that he's touching raw chicken with his hands and then grabbing salad and then touching meats with his hands? Oh my God. What happens, oh, Claudia? No. Cross contamination. You can kill someone. Shut all this equipment off. I want to see you guys out front. I'm super overwhelmed. Overwhelmed is not even a word right now. I don't know what to do. I don't know what's next. Here's what I did. I brought three NFL players into your bar. Three Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Bo, Cam, and Ali. Three NFL players are just sitting in there right now. Oh, oh, dude, you have no idea how much food we're going to order. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're going to get a bunch of food. Right, that's cool with me. Caesar wrap, please. Can I get two fish and chips okay. and uh, the salmon? Can I get the, uh, the bacon? Yeah. Bacon Three guys, one order. Uh, Perfect. Thank you. Thanks. I want to watch the kitchen with you make this food. Okay, let's go in your bar. Yeah. I'm hungry, dude. As soon as I see John, I'm like, oh, shit, stuff is about to hit the fan. But if we want to get this bar out of the red, then we need all we can get from John. Screaming, yelling, slapping, spanking, whatever John wants, we want it. OK, let's go back in the kitchen. Let's see what happens when this order comes up. We got a burger, chicken, two codfathers. I want to see how long this takes. Watch the raw meat all over her hand. Watch the raw meat now in with the chicken. She rinses her hand. She does not wash it. I just want you to understand yeah. the level of the cross-contamination and how we get people sick. Is there still raw chicken all over her hand? Most definitely, and it's also on that towel. Now she's now grabbing quesadilla out of the plastic bag. There's now raw chicken on that quesadilla, correct? Now she's got the raw chicken all over her handle of the fryer, doesn't she? Now, has Doug told her to put a glove on? No. Has Doug noticed any of this? <sighs> I'm hungry. Yeah. So we're at 10, 11 minutes. Nothing is finished. Doug, you want to come back here and help them get this together? But this is legitimately taking a long time, right? Their ticket timing's not going to be right. They don't have veg on. They don't have anything. Watch your manager read my example. Same table, separate ticket. OK, his hands are on that now. So now he's touching the drawer handle. No gloves. Well, he's making a salad completely with his hands. She just picked up that raw piece of fish, put it down on the grill, wiped her hand on that towel, put it down there. So now we have raw chicken, raw beef, and raw salmon all, all over this area. Now look at her hands all over everything. This is unbelievable. So there's no system whatsoever. The worst offender was Doug. Everybody listen to me. Doug, I watched you. You never washed your hands. You never put on a glove, correct? Correct? Okay. Yes. Does he know better? He does know better. And your hands are all over that, and now you're going to go touch more raw food, and you know better. That's what gets me. Now you go make raw chicken, put it all over your hands, wipe for 30 seconds with this, throw it here, and now you're making a freaking sandwich in that spot. How long have you been doing this? Long time. 
How much trouble is she in, Doug? A lot. Do you know she has no money? She might not make it through the frickin' week. I don't want her to lose. I want her success. Is this successful? No. Well, the revenues has gone down since you're here. You drive her kids because she can't drive herself, right? Yes. You help her in every way you can. You're a good friend, right? Try. Why are you f***ing her in here? Why? And, I, and you send her children's money out the door. What happens when she shuts down? You go get another job and she's screwed. And it's on you because you know better. Good friend. Good manager. How much more are you going to watch her lose, Doug? What the hell is the matter with you? I will not let you ruin her life. And this is ruining her life, Doug. Her life! I have three NFL players outside in that dining room from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I invited them here so that they'll talk about this place and help her get ahead. Take ownership. This is your failure tonight. We have to shut this down. Let's go talk to them. Wasn't really expecting John to yell at me. I don't like being demoralized and, and done, and that hurts. It hurts to hear. Allie, Cam. Hey. Bo. Howdy. How are you guys? So you guys have been waiting here 31 minutes. Yep. Did you get any food? No. Got nothing. What would happen if word got out that Tampa Bay Buccaneers were hanging out here? What would happen? People would come. In fact, they want to see them. So we have a great opportunity here, don't we? And what did you do with that opportunity? Fumbled it. Fumbled it. You squandered it. You didn't even throw the ball. You failed. This is on you. I hope you guys will come back for me and see this place again and give them a chance after we fix it, because this is a great lady. It's got a lousy manager. Apologize to them. Apologize, I hope you give us another shot and come back and we'll get this fixed. Thank you guys for this. Yep. Thank you guys.